Good afternoon. It's Sunday, March 22nd. I'm Tracy Upchurch, the mayor of St. Augustine, and I wanted to take just a little bit of time and share with you a couple of thoughts about the coronavirus in our community. The first thing I want to say is to congratulate and to thank everybody who's working so hard in our community to enact social distancing policies in their individual lives, in their businesses, and the community at large. I'm also aware, however, that the impact of this virus has fallen upon certain uh, parts of our community much more heavily than most parts. Those in the hospitality industry, those in the healthcare industry are being asked to give and contribute more, and we all need to be mindful of that. We need to support them, and John is going to share some small things we're doing to the city to try to lighten that burden for those folks. The second thing I want to say is we need to step back and always remember what we're trying to do here. We're trying to flatten the curve. We're trying to reduce the number of virus sicknesses. We're trying to do that for one reason, and that is to protect our health care system. So it's available to help people that need hospitalization from the virus, but also folks that need hospitalization, that need medical resources, just as a part of their ordinary life. The last thing I want to say is this situation is very fluid. It is changing constantly, and that requires all of us to be very, very flexible and patient with each other. We are a compassionate community. We are a strong community, and I have every confidence that not only, of course, will we get through this, but we will be better for the experience. We will be more compassionate and more strong on the other side. Thank you very much. John Regan has uh, some information he'd like to share with you as well. Thank you, Mayor Upchurch. Hello, I'm John Regan, the city manager for the city of St. Augustine. As Mayor Upchurch just mentioned, the circumstances with coronavirus are constantly changing, and I'm here today to update you on what is happening at City Hall. We will be closing our offices to the public starting Monday, March 23rd. However, we will be operational through the internet, our website, email, and by telephone. Solid waste collections are operating on their normal schedules. That includes residential and commercial trash, recycling, and yard debris. We will do everything in our power to continue providing all necessary services to our residents and business owners with public safety as our primary concern. Our decisions are made with one goal in mind, to flatten the curve of coronavirus cases, to stop the spread of the virus, and to maximize social distancing. Social distancing is how we will all work together. There is an unprecedented impact on our entertainment and hospitality community, and they are carrying a disproportionate burden. We understand that when finances become unstable, our confidence in the ability to pay our bills becomes threatened. In an effort, to alleviate some of that stress, the city will not be terminating water service for non-payment. It is critical that all residents be afforded access to clean water and sanitation. Terminating service is not an option. I, as your city manager, along with the city commission and all of our employees, know that we are all in this together with you, the whole St. Augustine and St. Johns County community. Visit our website, at citystaugh.com, we have a link to all of our department phone numbers and emails. And be sure to follow us on our social media platforms. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at City St. Aug. Also, the St. John's County Emergency Operations Center has set up a community information hotline. You can call them at 904-824-5550. We are keenly aware that social distancing policies create tremendous and unfair hardship, but we are taking these actions now so that we're able to come back together that much sooner. I encourage you to practice acts of kindness and compassion for one another. Let's all work together. Thank you.